Namaste beautiful yogis. I don't think I have enough food today to do a water eating a day video unless I go shopping. She just finished her pasta. Who's awake? Who's awake early? Um, we're on a different schedule so I can get to sleep a little better. It is somewhat working but still it, we need a lot of improvement. Right now I'm doing a DIY project. Here we have um, a 100% beeswax which I recycled from a 100% beeswax candle that I had and a cloth that I cut out from an old t-shirt and I'm gonna make wax wraps that will replace plastic wraps in the kitchen so that we can reduce plastic waste. Let's see if it's gonna work. This is my test. So hopefully she can breastfeed without getting distracted and um, I just wanted to talk about in my last video about health and um, motherhood and it's the intensity of it and I knew how much dedication it takes and selflessness and times during which your basic needs are not getting met and that's just part of it it's the beauty of it because mm. anything that will free you from yourself is a blessing it's not easy but it's a blessing because in your in your 20s you tend to be a lot of especially the millennials have um this self um i don't want to say obsession but you know what i mean it's just uh, too much about the self and not enough freedom about or wisdom about letting go of the self um, for those of you that are very young and fearful of motherhood because it is so intense and so challenging i'll I'll give you this uh, little analogy. It's like saying I would rather not fall in love because, you know, love always kind of involves some, some level of pain or sacrifice. And um, it, is a, it, it is the same thing. It's one of those sweet things in life that you do. It's not easy, but it's what makes life, life. Um, it's... It's one of the greatest things in life, really. Falling in love, being in love, loving, uh, giving, uh, being with your soulmates or your soul cluster, all of that. It's part of the beauty of life and why we come here in the first place. So that's my little chat about it. And um, I'll try to finish that DIY project so I'm trying to do zero waste uh, kitchen it will be a little bit of a long-term project before I switch all my bags to cotton bags and um, and she's gonna come to the camera now it <laughs> um, Yeah, it's also happiness. Motherhood is happiness I've never known before. So it is everything. It's sacrifice, it's happiness, it's selflessness, it's love. It's love beyond falling in love. So it's totally worth it. Now onto the Zero Kitchen project. I'm all over the place. Um, I'm still a little bit tired. It will be probably a while before I can rebuild my health when I start sleeping. I, I literally need more than eight hours to sleep, at least two or three times a week, like nine hours. And... Um, Babies don't like to sleep. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm gonna make wax wraps. The wax wraps replace uh, plastic wrapping so that and because it's beeswax, beeswax preserves your food so you can do wax wraps around your cut up veggies. If you cut up watermelon, you can just half of it you can wrap it and it will keep it if you cut up half an avocado cucumber etc instead of uh, putting saran wrap you put wax wrap and that lasts you um, a long time um, it's reusable she she took the stand it is reusable which was actually a lego it is reusable and uh, because beeswax is naturally antibacterial, antimicrobial, it also um, helps you preserve the food same or better than saran wrap. 
and no plastic goes into the environment i've never liked saran wrap so i just put my food without it uh, if i don't have a lid i've never liked paper towels saran wrap uh, my biggest fault is um cherry tomatoes strawberries those things that come in plastic containers and i don't know how to get around that and also getting vegetables in those uh, produce bags those that uh, come in the roller in the in the grocery store and so the house smells amazing and here it is and i'm just using an old t-shirt as my first test and i'm putting little pieces of beeswax and melting it in the oven so i'm waiting for lolly miller and she is expecting she's here i think she's expecting a grandson so i have all my baby stuff prepared speaking of zero waste all the carriers this rocker was amazing changers co slipper in here this bed and this is all clothes and swaddles and so many cute baby clothes Okay, and she have a really cool announcement to make. That's Doggy. Yeah. That's Doggy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's just handing me Legos and I have to take um I'll go do that um, that my uh, finish my wax wrap. And oh and a lot of those were gifts and some of them are from you guys so they're gonna keep going <laughs> they're gonna keep giving so here it is it is made and it's full, but it really wraps around here there is an orange inside and it's kind of firm but also pliable and soft and it has natural preservative properties obviously bees use beeswax to preserve their honey while it's still young in the bee comb because young honey would go bad if you extract it early so it's used for that and i made this a little bigger just as my test but it's pretty amazing it smells phenomenal and okay baby needs me to continue with her entertainment you guys about there is a 30 day come to my website that's where i posted it there is a 30 day gratitude challenge and it's basically paying attention to your um, internal uh, dialogue to the chatter in your mind in your head and 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 turning certain sentences around uh, the video is on uh, on my uh, website with the basic uh, idea of the 30 day challenge but we're just going to express gratitude five things we're grateful for every day in the morning if we can in a written form if possible otherwise just while you're performing certain tasks like brushing teeth or washing dishes or walking your dog etc and um and um, also just rewriting our uh, personal beliefs or personal stories sometimes we believe um, we have certain beliefs our uh, about ourselves and we tend to um to manifest the future coming from those beliefs so here baby um so changing up the story that we tell ourselves some people um everybody suffers in certain area of their life and that's there we can focus on some people are very good at manifesting say abundance but materially but not that good about communication relationships etc some people are good at relationships but have other challenges with manifesting their passion or a career they love etc so we all have places where we can focus on and rewrite the stories we tell ourselves and um, that is the challenge basically it's gratitude plus changing certain sentences or certain beliefs with a uh, sentence that resonates with us that feels very in alignment with uh, what we want to create the challenge is, is it's called 30 day gratitude challenge go on my website i'll remember to link it uh, below it's open to everybody and um and we we are playing obviously now and she's at this point allowing me to have a camera or a phone around which she didn't allow until now i'm feeling better physically um the viral thing went away and thank goodness it didn't linger around 
uh, the arm films close to how it was. I'm sure I can uh, do a little more exercises with dumbbells, which I'm doing biceps, uh, curls, etc., to strengthen it. But it said that on average it takes one to three years for the nerves. Once they're, the nerves are damaged, they take a while to grow. And um, uh, for me, I saw the the viral uh, the virus uh, stepping away as soon as I started the herb. So I saw that it's really really powerful the viral protocol and a lot of our afflictions uh, that seem to be kind of autoimmune are viral in fact. So it's good to do a protocol that's antiviral and antiparasitic so that the um, liver and the um, stomach are strengthened. So we have guests. Lolly is here. And we have a Hello. really cool <laughs> and we have a really cool announcement um, to make. And are we ready, Lolly? She's sure. she's busy with Lolly. Uh, here. <laughs> uh, we Lolly is almost done with uh Oh, with the vegan journey. Uh, it's a handbook uh, for uh, transitioning to veganism. Wow. I yes, know. so Very we excited. have a book. It will be on my website and we'll have a vegan how-to book with recipes, how to transition, <coughs> why why vegan is uh, healthy, etc. Just uh, really like, um, it's a comprehensive guide, right? It really is. And, uh, Nutrients. The, yes, it gives you like uh, all the grams of protein in, in grains, fruits and vegetables yeah. and then uh, also I thought really important was that the recipes we used were Ali's everyday recipes yes, and my yes. everyday recipes, yes. the ones that we really live by not yeah. you know, the Yeah, so it's really, kind of yeah, the easy recipes, the blender recipes, the stuff that you can do with no time <laughs> And I have to show off your outfit because oh. you're so cute. <laughs> and let me go the other way because we're against the light. We're going to show off our outfit yeah. here. Look at oh. And check out her outfit. Woohoo! <laughs> and look, how, look at the skirt she gave me. So cute. So cute. It looks so good on you, Ali. Thank you. And it's so pretty. It's just so girly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can wear so many different kinds of tops with it, too. Totally. Yes, I'm in love with it. It's so, yeah, <laughs> it's so pretty. All right. Uh, anything else about the book? Um, it has um, phytochemicals that combat diseases. Oh, yes. Um, so vitamins, you cover. All the amino acids and what they do. Uh, any kind of supplements that would assist you mm -hmm. are all listed in, you know, uh, uh, ways to help yourself if you, you're you having difficulties. So, I mean, it's just, we we really tried to keep it comprehensive, okay. not too long, but uh, it's, I think it's uh, 62 pages. But wow, okay, yeah. Recipes, yeah. It will be on my website soon, we'll let you know when <laughs> it comes out, I'll make, definitely make an announcement. Exciting. Yes, very. And we're dancing now, of course. So Lo Lolly is about to leave, we're going to try to load this stuff in her car and here is my wrap, it's um, orange in here and it really seals, it's, it's worked out really well.
so hopefully we'll see Lolly and I will see each other one more time before we leave California so this visit has been a little bit of a bittersweet next time I see you you're gonna be gigantic huh hmm? when I get my little house in Wales you can come and stay with me okay? mm -hmm. It's a tree. It's a tree. So pretty. Yeah. It is. A tree. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What is it? What is that? A tree? Yeah. 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 It is a tree. Yeah. It's pretty. So pretty. Yeah. Oh. Say hi, mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Gee, yeah. That's a camera. Yeah. The camera. That's Lodi, yeah? You want to get yeah. down? All right, come on. Come on. Watch out. Johnny is getting all gourmet with his salad with some dried tomatoes and like the avocados. perfect avocados. Most perfect avocados ever. Every day I will be doing uh, green juice. There is a lime here and celery. And when you do that, you alkalize your body. Celery juice in the blender, celery and lime blended, that's it. Strained and the strained stuff goes into Sophie's food. And I'll be making a green alkaline drink for 30 days every day. Um, and for daily videos, I'll try to uh, do the challenge daily. Uh, come to my other channel so that I don't, I don't overwhelm the channel on here on here I'll be putting um, a detox challenge stuff less often and I'll put on there a little more often but they do feel good my body immediately feels it when I take a little more care of myself obviously and um, as far as my um, inflammation here it went completely away it was just a nerve thing and as soon as I started taking the viral things, it went away. Otherwise, it says, the literature says that the, the nerves take a year to three years to rebuild. That didn't happen for me. I think because I took the antiviral herbs. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.